topics of feminism were discussed at the F Word Film Festival in honor of Women's History Month. Reporter Rachel Letcher was on the scene. March 13th and 14th, the F Word Film Festival, created by Lori Horvitz, made its eighth annual appearance at UNC Asheville in the Humanities Lecture Hall in celebration of Women's History Month. Um, the F Word Film Festival is a festival about feminism and videos are shown in front of the audience and a panel on stage has a discussion with the audience about the film. A crowd consisting mostly of women entered into the Humanities Lecture Hall anticipating the showing of three short films with the common theme of women's equality. Catherine Min, a professor of language and literature, explains the common misconceptions of feminism. Well, it become, because feminism became sort of this bad word. You know, people, people were thinking that um, if you were a feminist, I mean, women our age felt very strongly the women's movement really helped us um, come into our power. And then we see these college women, a lot of them saying, oh, I'm not a feminist. If you're a feminist, you don't shave your legs, and that means you're a lesbian, or that means that you hate men. And in fact, all that feminism means is that women should have the same choices and the same, um, you know, equality. That, that men have. Lori Horvitz discusses her views on how to make a difference in the equality for all people. Well, one of the things that we talked about and a lot of students had input from the audience is, well, what can we do about this? And one thing is we need to educate or be educated. And when we say educate, it's not just watching TV because we know that TV doesn't give us the whole, you know, all the news. Um, we need to you know, look at other sources, go on the internet, look at, look at um, more open-minded sources than Fox News and, you know, corporate media. People outside of the UNCA community attended the film festival and were drawn to the attention-grabbing title. I had a positive impression that it might be some kind of fresh perspectives and it wouldn't, I don't know, usually when you have a title like that, it was, and she said it was a series of films. So I like when it's representing kind of a diversity of viewpoints. The films explored walking marriages in a village in China, a transgendered woman who for eight years of her life was a male, and mail order Russian brides. I didn't know very much about uh, transgendered or intersexual people. And you know, this idea that there's male or female just clearly was something that I accepted. And so it kind of taught me something about how it's not really binary and that there are a lot of people who do exist in between. After the films were over, the audience stayed to participate in a panel discussion about the issues pertaining to equality throughout the documentaries. And, and just again, whether you're male, female, or transgendered or whatever, the more choices a person has, you know, the, the, more, the more possibility of happiness they have. And the more that we accept diversity in ourselves and in other people, the, the happier we will be. The F Word Film Festival was a success according to Lori Horvitz. Some of the films shown can be checked out in the Ramsey Library's Media Center. For Mountain Highlights, I'm Rachel Letcher along with photographer Trip Sproul.